First at 11, fake doctor arrested. Police say this person injected a patient with cement, and that is just the beginning. Good evening. You're watching CBS 4 News Tonight in HD. I'm Shannon Horing. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Police say that O'Neill Ron Morris injected patients and then sealed the wounds with super glue. Tonight, the daughter of a woman who died under similar circumstances is speaking out about this. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live with the Miami Gardens Police Department with this bizarre story. Carrie. That's right, Elliot. In Morris's case, Miami Gardens Police say he injected the victim's buttocks with cement mineral oil and fix a flat, then sealed the incision with super glue. The victim wound up in the hospital. Morris wound up in jail. Miami Gardens police say O'Neill Morris practiced medicine without a license, injecting a woman's rear end with dangerous products. Police say this photo shows that Morris, who was born a man, first used them on himself. We're told Morris's victim suffered pneumonia and MRSA from the injection. This cocktail of, of chemicals went into her body caused a terrific, caused her terrific pain. I lost my mother to something senseless that could have been avoided. Tangela Sears is not familiar with O'Neill Morris, but she is intimately familiar with the illegal practice of medicine. Her mother, Vera Lawrence, died 10 years ago after receiving silicone injections at house parties. Sears says the men who injected her mother were not doctors, and she wants others to avoid the pain her family suffers. If you're being injected outside of a doctor's office, it's with some type of chemical that's either going to cripple you and kill you immediately or eventually you're going to die. Dr. Rainier Saxe is a plastic surgeon in Fort Lauderdale. He says people must do their research before allowing someone to inject a substance into their bodies. I understand people trying to you know, find a shortcut. Sometimes it might work, but more often than not, it probably doesn't work. And then it's sad, you know, something like that can happen. Police say O'Neill Morris's victim learned that lesson the hard way. Miami Gardens police tell us they want to find out if there are any other victims of O'Neill Morris out there. Police tell us those folks should not be scared about coming forward and should contact the Miami Gardens Police Department. Live in Miami Gardens, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Thank you.